Thomas Floor is the founder of VistaJet, which charters long-range business jets. His company competes with the likes of Warren Buffett's NetJets, allowing executives to make regular use of private aviation without the hassle of owning their own aircraft. He's in Hong Kong after just launching a new joint venture to serve the domestic market in China. So, Mr. Floor, why have you decided to open in China now? Well, I mean, first and foremost, we look at our customer base and they're demanding it from us. This could be international companies with the need to fly within China, or we have a sales office in both Beijing and, and Hong Kong, and we have sufficient dem demand available that this is the right decision for us to enter. Uh, we also see a mega trend around the world that corporations shy away of spending 50 or 60 million dollars on buying an airplane, but much rather just rent the airplane and you know, have an operating expense rather than a, a capital expenditure and put that plane on the balance sheet. Who do you see as your typical customer in China and where are they flying to? Okay, typical uh, customer is uh, corporations which need to business within China, but also internationally within the Asian theater. So we see corporations needing the airplane uh, to, for flights between Beijing, uh, Shenzhen, Guangzhou, uh, uh, Shanghai, etc. But then also the need to fly down to Manila, to fly to uh, Kuala Lumpur, to Singapore, uh, to Bangkok, etc. And since the corruption crackdown started in China, an austerity drive, private aviation has become something of a taboo for many wealthy individuals and companies in China. How much of a problem is that going to be for your business as you look to expand there now? Well, we see it as a, a counter-cyclical product, what we have. And we've seen it now in China, we've seen it in Russia. Uh, people in difficult economic times, they shy away from asset purchases. Uh, but they still use the business jet as a very effective business tool. Um, you know, actually, the Chinese government is promoting general aviation as one of the, the areas and industries which should be supported with a growth over the long term because statistics show that companies are more efficient and profitable if they have access to a business jet. The big question is, do companies need to own it? But in China, a lot of the crackdown has been around the perception of government officials, executives for state-owned companies and even private companies don't want to be seen carrying a luxury handbag or with a luxury watch. Um, don't you think there's a similar problem for, for private aviation? They won't want to be seen getting out of a private jet or into one, even if that jet is only part-owned or paid for on a temporary basis and not owned by the company. We don't see it at all as a luxury show-off item. It is much more a business tool, and that has been the case all around the world. So we have to get away from this kind of like Hollywood image of, of this industry. Uh, it, it's really the most effective business tool. Business jets buy time. That's what it is. Many of China's major airports are already operating at or near capacity. There are also regular shutdowns due to military airspace restrictions. How much is infrastructure going to limit your ability to grow in China? International carriers are only allowed to fly into the very congested big airports. Beijing, Shanghai is a classical example. Uh, now with the B-registered airplane, we have access to over 160 airports in second tier and third tier cities. Business aviation will actually allow the whole system to be more efficient, but it's only allowed if you have a local registration, if you have a local partner. And where do you see the future sources of growth in China and Asia more generally for your company? Well, I mean, I have to look at the, this is a very long-term industry. You know, you've got to make capital commitments over 10, 20 years in, in aviation. Um, if I look at the pure statistics that in China today there's 300 business jets. In the United States, country of similar size, you know, one-fourth of the population approximately, there's 10,400. Over the long term, uh, we believe that those statistics will narrow to some degree. Uh, I have no prediction when it is at 1,000 uh, airplanes in China, when at 5,000, but it is proven that business jets are an effective business tool and, and it's just so underrepresented in Asia. Mr. Floor, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you.